guys, we're in a new segment, Talk of the Town, and today we have a special guest, Brooklyn the Bandit. So, um, so tell us how you got your rap name. It was actually given to me because I made the news. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so you made the news for music? They don't call me the Bandit for no reason. <laughs> So you made the news. You from Brooklyn, of course. So you just kind of ran with it, or that yeah. was like your headline. No, my name like, was already Brooklyn, but they just added the bandit to it. Okay, and you stuck with it. Yeah. Okay. It fits me. Okay, so when did you realize you wanted to become a rapper? Well, I've been rapping since I was eight years old, but I never really took it serious. So around when would you say you started taking it seriously? Like two years ago. Two years ago? Okay, so you've been two years into music. Okay, so how would you describe your sound? Um, basically, it's no genre. I do everything. I do pop, I do country, I do reggae, I do hip hop, R&B. There's no label. So you've been doing a lot of remixes lately. Are you gonna start dropping more original music or? Um. I do, I have more original music than that. I only have like two remixes. Two remixes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what makes you like want to do a remix? I got to feel the song. I got to like it, like I got to feel the song, like hear it and be like, oh, let me do a song to this. Okay. Um, any other ones you considering thinking about doing? Anything that caught your eye lately? Was that it's the beatbox? Please don't say back in blood. Oh my god. You know. <laughs> it was the I'm beatbox or something, child, whatever that is. The beatbox, you know, yeah. beatboxed out. Everybody's doing that one too. <laughs> they is doing that one crazy. All right, so explain to the people. Yeah, that's the that's the beatbox one. So explain to the people what is what is private jet taste? Oh, private jet pussy. <laughs> so, like, how would you explain that? Like, how did the girls know if they have private jet pussy? Because, you know, some bitches, is, they, they commercial. They not exclusive. So, you know, you got to be exclusive to be on a private jet, you know? Okay. Like, so that's why I just came up with it and just ran with it. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you think separates you from other female artists coming from the city? Nobody else could be me. Of me. Okay. So what what well like what qualities do you think you have that makes you stand out from everyone else? Cause let me stand a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, explain it, break it down. A, a lot bit. of people like to copy other people. Okay. And do stuff. I learned them like that. No matter what, nobody else in this world could be me. So I just be myself. Okay. So when pertaining to music, pertaining, pertaining to life, fashion, pertaining everything, to everything, 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 I always just be me with that. If somebody, somebody got have a, like, I get money or whatever, and they be like, oh, why you don't go get Dior? Why you don't go get do this? Like, if I like it, I'll buy it. But yeah. I'm not getting it to just get it because everybody's in it. Okay. Like, that's just not me. So it goes all around life. That pretty yeah. good seems. Okay, so how did your song Pussy come about? <laughs> Whew, somebody snatched my soul. And <laughs> I don't know, I just woke up the next day and I was like, pussy, pussy, pussy. It okay. was, woo. That, he hit us. So do he know that song about him? I think so, because I played it one time in the car. <laughs> and he was just looking at me like, and I'm like, I said, why am I? So, um, so being a female artist, do you think it's important to write your own raps? Yeah, I write all my raps. A lot of guys want to write for me, though, but I always tell them no. One, because I like all my money to mm -hmm. myself, so if they even try to, if I'm in the studio and they try to insert a word, I totally ignore them, because then they will become a co-writer, even for one word. So I just be like, whatever, I'm going to figure this out. Okay. Do you feel like it's important for like females though to write their own rap? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's important for anybody to write their own shit. It's creativity. You in the game. You feel me? Then when you write your own shit, you are an artist. When you don't, you're just an entertainer. You're just out there just reading scripts and doing shit, entertaining people. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So when you go to the studio, what's your vibe like? How do you get Hennessy? In the <laughs> um Hennessy. Cause I don't really smoke. Hennessy, yeah, I, really I drink. 
I drink. So you gotta have some Hennessy. <laughs> and what else? You gotta have your friends around. You sometimes gotta be... they come, and sometimes they be a distraction. Like I start fucking around with them and shit. But you gotta be in the mood. Like how do you? Um, oh, usually you what I do is I write some shit, but I'll go to the studio and I'll record it, and I'll record it like I'll go to the studio like four or five times before I even drop it. Okay. That's how I am. Like I don't know. So That's you're a perfectionist. I would say that. But sometimes, I don't know, it's just like, you know when you listen to stuff, like I hear my voice, and I'm like, that's how I sound? <laughs> so, in, so in one of your bars, you said, after I fuck, I'm gonna be moving funny. Why is that? I don't know, because I fuck, <laughs> we be mad cool, and I fuck you, I walk past you like I don't even know you, I don't know why I do that. <laughs> yeah, I walk past a nigga, nigga be like, what the fuck did I do to you? I just gave you some dick. And I'm like, that's the fuck. Like I said, well, thank you, right? <laughs> I'm fucking weak. OK, so in Mentally Scar, you talk about not trusting anybody. And where, like, where does that come from? Like, why do you, why These you bitches. So... <laughs> and these niggas, too. Like, like I, had, I had niggas snitch on me. And that's how you got to the news? Nah, that's just how I know. This is how, how I got to the jail. <laughs> but yeah, I had niggas snitch on me. I had bitches lie, lie me. Not lie me, but like. <laughs> so basically, what you've been through inspired that song or makes you that way? I trust people too easily. And then they fuck me over, and then when I get upset, I'm like, tick, tick, boom. Like. Okay. Okay. So what inspired you to flip Cardi B dripping? Because I'm really no. <laughs> oh my you God. You know, I, so feel like you had to flip it to film me? Yeah, I had to, because you know, came through cripping. <laughs> so what, um, so, so do you feel like it's hard right now for female artists to get that shine and that spotlight? No, I actually think it's, we, it's, we at an all time high right now. Okay. So yeah, who's some who's some female artists you listening to or who's like you playing right um, now? Let's see. You know, there's yeah. no female artists. Three, two, something. People I'll be listening to, yeah, I probably won't even know. All right, so who's some female artists that you feel like doing anything right now? You don't gotta listen to them, but Cardi you see B, them working. Megan, um, Mulatto. That's about it. Saucy Santana. Is that that count? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you said, well, if, I don't know. OK, so, so being as you do a music, who's some artists that you like want to collab with? No I'm thinking right now. artists you want to collab with? Or anybody on your bucket list of collaborations? Siggy Black, um, oh, yeah. Max Demon. That's it? Mm. <laughs> OK. So who, when you was growing up, who was you listening to musically? Oh, yep. Shakira, Shania Twain, <laughs> Celine Dion. <laughs> Reggae. Nin Ninja Man, <laughs> Bone Tequila. <laughs> Being a man, <laughs> Red Rock. <laughs> so you was big on the reggae scene. Yeah, I come from Jamaican parents. Like that's what we wasn't listening to no hip hop. Okay, so how'd you get into hip hop? Being that you grew up with. Because I'm an American. I go to school. Okay. <laughs> Got BT. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so what? That Titanic soundtrack? So what's something you think your fans and supporters don't know about you? That I'm an angel. <laughs> really? <laughs> you have to make that clear, like I'm an angel. No, I really am, though. They always think that I'm like, I don't know. They think, I mean, like when people, when they, they be like, I would think you was been stuck up or they be like, you mad down to earth. Okay, so you feel like you have a mixed um, in person. People get mixed interpretations about you? Yeah, they think that I'm stuck up or I'm like just mean, and I'm not. Why do you think they think that? 
I don't know. Should I be rapping about? <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to break that shell, like break that curse, like everybody thinking you're that way? Or you I think... mean, nobody's going to... It's like when you see something and you never had it before, you don't like it because you never tried it. So I can't break that shell. They just got to meet me, see me, catch a vibe. Feel me? Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't like what they don't know. True. So what's, so what's, what's, so what's next for you? Oh, um... I got a show Friday. I'm opening up for Kodak Black, Tokyo Jets, the nigga. And that's in Atlanta, because you know, New yeah. York is close. <laughs> it's in Atlanta. So. So um, any big features, any big songs, like projects? Well, I'm supposed to be, I'm working on something right now. With you somebody, but with a female artist. Okay. A big one. She's just had 20 years in the game. I'm curious. Okay, so you're working with a female artist, 20 years in the game. A song? The Baddest Bitch. Now nah, she's trying to um, make me put like some songs together and see what, you feel me? Like, What's going to go? Yeah. Okay, so are you, are you independent or are you signed? I'm independent. So are you looking to sign a deal or if it comes, it comes? Yeah, I, a lot of people go with like the big record labels, but I want to go with like a smaller that's coming up, so that I can be that artist to bring them to that level. Okay, so you want a small label? Yeah. Oh, so much small. Okay, so you don't. You, so, is there so? Cause like people want the bigger record label. But it's more money. They don't look into stuff push. like that. It's advancement. You thinking you get free studio time? You got to pay it back. It's so much. So much people told me about it. They end up owing money when things don't sell. When I can just do it all myself by myself, mm-hmm. collect all the money. And like I said, if I see a ind- like an re- a independent mm-hmm. label or something, a small one, I would join them just to bring the thing up. Because I want to be the artist, you feel me, that? Okay. That brings them to life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So um, tell the people where to find you and where to find your music and how could they stream you and all that stuff. Um, I'm on Apple. I'm on TikTok. I'm on... Are you on TikTok? Have you on TikTok? <laughs> SoundCloud. I'm on everything. Is B R six six C L Y N, cause that's how I spell Brooklyn. I'm about to um, say, are you gonna ever change that? Oh no, no, no. no. She said, oh no, no. <laughs> cause I, once you see that, everybody knows me. Okay, okay, okay. So it's Brooklyn the Bandit. You can stream me on all platforms. I'm there. But you spell Brooklyn B R six six C L Y N.